an den Mark Dylan von Jolla, der uns einen kurzen uh, Überblick über Sailfish geben wird. Hi, Mark, go ahead. Hello, Peter. So, I'll let the device uh, go to sleep. So you can wake up the device either with the power key or with a double tap on the screen. And here we have our lock screen. From here, we can do a couple of different things. Um, we can access this pulley menu by pulling down and have different options. And the device has haptics, so as we pull this, it's like uh, tick, tick, tick. So you can actually access functions on the device without looking at it. So for example, if I'm walking into a meeting, I can pull the device out, double tap the screen, pull down once, I can feel it, select the silent profile, and now I'm in silent profile and I know that I can put the device into my pocket or from the same token I could go directly to the camera or go directly to the phone so that by the time I have the device up and, and ready, the camera is open to take a photo or the phone is ready for me to enter a phone number or select something. Um, I have a number of notifications that are showing on the side of the, the lock screen and I can access those by um, a push from the right, left, top or the bottom and basically see the, the missed calls that I have, the Twitter feeds, the, the Facebook feeds and I, you know, if I have any emails uh, with subjects or things like that. Um, coming up, uh, notice that I also have the, the status information. My battery's at 90% at the moment. I haven't entered the PIN code for the network, so it's red. It's showing me I don't have network and showing that I'm in silent mode. So these items in many devices are taking up precious screen real estate all of the time, like having options available and having status information. So Selfish allows the whole display to be free for content. So. This is our, uh, our home screen, so in order to illustrate the home screen, I'll open a few applications, and I'll start with our people application, and I'll, I'll push that out of the way, and then I'll select, let's take email, and I'll push that out of the way, um, maybe the phone. So normally, um, if we think about like any kind of desktop, you have the things open that are most important for you. So I'll start with four. So now we have four applications open. So the old way of doing things is you, you open an application, uh, you find it from the grid, you open it, you go inside of it, and then let's say that maybe I select a song to play. So um, what we can do with Sailfish and the, the Sailfish operating system in SDK is we can put functions um, onto these covers or thumbnails. So in this case, I can pause the music or play the music or go to the next song without having to go all the way into the application. So a similar thing, say I want to collect my thoughts for a moment, I can pause the music and I can go directly to my contacts um, from the phone and select the person that I want to call. Or with email, I can do a sync of the email or I can go to create a new email. So these are the kinds of things that a, a typical user might have open all of the time, and that way they don't have to go deep into the application in order to perform a common function. They can just do it right from the home screen. So I'll show a couple of other features that uh, I think are pretty interesting. So we have this ambiance in the device. So you notice that from the, the home screen, we have this uh, beautiful field uh, photograph. So from our gallery application, we can select whatever photo that suits our mood at the moment. Let's say I'm feeling a bit blue. Actually, I'm feeling quite red at, at MWC at the moment, but I can create ambiance um, from this photo, and basically it changes the way the whole device looks and feels now. So you can do this according to your mood or to personalize the device, or maybe you walk into a, a show and you take a new photo and you want to personalize your device to, to show the, where you are at the moment. So we have uh, ability to show nine applications multitasking with the, with the active covers um, at the same time, and others are available uh, with scrolling. So a couple of other cute features um, or things that I, th I think are, are quite powerful but, but easy to use, like settings. So um, I use, I, when I fly a lot, I use the flight mode a lot. So I have it set here as a, as a favorite setting. So once again, if you are a, a regular user um, of, of other operating systems, you have to go find the settings application, open the settings application. Once you're inside there, go maybe to a system settings and go through many different menus to find things that should be available commonly to you. So in this case, um, we can select something and we can add it or remove it from our favorites so that 
It's available on the cover, and it's available when we just open the settings application here at the top. So I've got my Wi-Fi, for example. I can turn that on and off. I've got my uh, wireless LAN settings available. If I'm traveling a lot and I want to be able to access different wireless LANs, look, it's picking up all these different ones from MWC here. So this is all live. So, And then having those settings available on the cover so that I can just simply turn things on and off or access them easily um, and have a lot of power, but still it's quite simple. Um, and finally, um, when I'm in an application, uh, let's say that maybe I want to, oh, I, I want to check and see, you know, did somebody send me a message about something I'm trying to do? I can simply access the, uh, the feeds or the, the message information from the bottom and then go right back to the application or commit and say, okay, I will want to do that and now I can go back to my application or back to the home screen. So we did a lot of different things just now very quickly and easily and, and very simply, but you can see there's, there's power available everywhere to do lots of very strong items uh, or actions with the device without having to do a lot of effort. So that's one of the keys of Sailfish. You've released the SDK recently? Yes, the SDK was launched for Sailfish uh, this week, this yes, week? yesterday, yesterday at MWC, that's right. Yeah. We've gotten a lot of good feedback. And what are the next steps? Um, the next steps are we're focusing on uh, getting the first YOLA devices out. Uh, we're expecting that second half of this year. And that will spearhead the Sailfish Operating System um, Alliance and initiative. So once we have devices out on the market, then we're also uh, we're already talking to different kinds of partners about putting uh, Sailfish onto their devices. And we actually even have a hardware business where we can also create custom hardware. Say there's an application house or a retailer and you would like to have your own phone, then this is the kind of service that we're able to provide. I understand you are quite strong in China. Um, China is one of our primary markets, so uh, we do have uh, good exposure there. We have a deal with uh, Dphone, which is the largest smartphone retailer in China. They have over 2,000 retail, retail stores. So uh, this, uh, we're starting with uh, Finland and China, and then we're going to expand into, into Europe and other markets as well. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. All right.